Hey YouTube, this is Shahweh Zuneef and I am posting my first video tutorial and this tutorial is dedicated to the Pocket PC and how to transfer files to and fro between uh, HP Jornada Pocket PC and your desktop. Okay, for this you are going to need a desktop or tower PC Okay, you gotta look at that. Now you're going to need a pocket PC, HP Jornada, of course. This is a pocket PC of HP Jornada. It has HP or Havoc Packer written on it. Okay, we just open it and we just dial in the correct code, and there you go. It's just like your own computer. Have a look. It has a start bar, it has memos. And look at it. It's got today, calendar, contracts, file explorer, home, HP home menu, home settings, home task switcher, etc., etc., etc. We don't need that right now. What we need is a way to convert data or transfer data to and fro between this little main device and this personal. PC, okay. So you must be wondering that uh, why was the Pocket PC invented? So let me give you a little background on this, okay? So the Pocket PC was actually invented so that the traveling businessman and in turn the population can travel here and there and with their data transferred onto the Pocket PC, and at the end of the night when they come back to their house, they can transmit it back into their personal computer, okay, so that their time won't waste and their assignments can get on time, okay, so that's a little bit about the pocket PC, okay, so now we're going to start with today's tutorial, which is how to transfer files between the HP Jornada pocket PC and my desktop, it, can, it doesn't have to be a desktop, it can be a tower or whatever you want it to be, okay, so let's start. First of all, you need to go to Internet Explorer, go to the Google bar, and in it, you write C net. It says C net. Confirm the spelling. It's C N E T. Not S N E T, not Q N E T, it's C N E T, C net. Okay, we're going to go to the first link. It says free software downloads and software reviews seen at download.com. Okay, so we just click on it and it will directly take us to uh, the page which we want to go to. And this is the page we want to go to. I'll zoom in a little bit. This is seen at download.com. Okay, this is its search bar, so we are going to go to its search bar and we are going to write Microsoft Active Sync. Okay, so we search on it, and let's see what results it finds for us. Okay, so here are the results. Okay, it says 30, oh, 38 results for Microsoft Active Sync. Okay, let's see which we need. First of all, there's a Sync 2 for Outlook icon. No, we don't need that. We don't need that. Okay, and second number, here it is. The Microsoft Active Sync with a green icon. Here is the green icon with two arrows pointing in the opposite direction. And it is a version 4.5, which has been updated or added on 7 23 2007. Okay, right in front of it, you can see right here. Let me move a little bit. Yeah, that is the download now button. All you need to do 
is click on that and it will take you to a wizard, uh, sorry, not a wizard, or a dialog box which will prompt you and you need to download it. So it's going to download for you a setup of the Microsoft Active Sync version 4.5. Okay, so keep in mind that this is a version 4.5, but the one I'm probably using will be 3.1 or 3.2 or something. But it really doesn't matter. They vary from time to time, but it'll work anyway, trust me. Okay, so I'm not going to actually download it if that's what you're thinking. I've already done it beforehand to save time. Okay, so I just cross it. This was just to give you a little uh, which website to go to to download because I've been recently getting complaints that people say that, hey, where's the website you want to download it from? So that was about the website. And now, when it's fully installed onto your computer, it will give you a connection wizard once you connect it to your HP Jornada. Now I'm going to show you the method to connect your HP Jornada pocket PC to your computer. Okay, so I will brief look at this. Okay. First of all, this is our HP Jornada stand. Okay? So all we do is take its USB cable. Okay, this is its USB cable. So we take it and we plug it right here into the computer okay so we plugged it okay now all we do is we put our pocket PC onto the stand and it activates automatically okay so now it's active okay so now it's active, you can see it active. So now here this little window of Microsoft Active Sync will open and it will say correct connected, which means all the files are synchronized. Now I'm going to show you a folder. All you need to do is right here go to the My Documents folder. Okay? This is my documents folder. In it you will find this little folder. Let me zoom up a little bit. It's says here it is it says WM admin one my documents this is the name of the folder which I uh, use and which you're going to use it is a key to transfer the material from your computer to your pocket PC or from your pocket PC to your computer okay so let's begin so now this folder use it. Whatever we will put inside it, it will be transferred to our pocket PC. Let me show you. So it has a folder called template. Okay. So we go to the pocket PC. We open this file explorer. And it also has a folder called template. So this shows that both of them are in constant synchronization. So, okay. We put some file, let's say we put uh, a Microsoft Word file. Just minimize this. Go for new Microsoft Word. Okay. So we go to new. Okay, so I've wrote all this random stuff in my new Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word document. When I cross it, it'll ask me if I want to save it. I'll say yes. And save it right onto the desktop. Now we just cross it, and right here it is. This is the folder we've just created. It's spelled. Ooh, yeah, 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 I think. Okay, so now we take this folder, we cut it and paste it in my admin folder. Okay, so we can put it in the template or we can put it outside right beside it. We paste it and we open the Microsoft Active Sync. It's starting to synchronize and before you know it, it's synchronized, it's connected. Okay, so let's go to our pocket PC to find out if it's synced. Here it is, the folder. 
Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we open it. It says it is associated. Who knows what that means? But that's the matter we're going to apply. And that concludes our today's tutorial. Okay? So that is how we're going to transfer files from our HP Jornada to our pocket PC or pocket PC to our HP Jornada. Now, whatever files we have in our file explorer, let's say we add a new folder to it and we name it XXX. Okay, so this is the folder. Now, we go to the computer and we look at it and here it is, the folder. XXX. This shows that the synchronizing works perfectly and this is how we are going to sync, you are going to synchronize and transfer data between your computer and your pocket PC. So I hope this tutorial really helped and it helped me too. Okay guys, before you go, I need you to give me a good rating. Let me just tell, give you my email address so that you can tell me about any queries, any f a feedback or any queries you have. Here is my email address, SSS191 or 19971 at hotmail.com. And this is the address. If you have any feedback, any queries, you can contact me on this address and I'll be sure to solve them. And other than this, Please give me a good rating. This is my first tutorial. Bye-bye.